It's very clear talking with the communities here. Gladly there is mayor, there is province, the embassy and all. All problems of this area and many other areas cannot be solved by one element of the government or by one department. While issues here are security issues, there are too many social issues. Things they have raised, the lights, there are no lights. You saw how we jumped on the open sewage, no houses and all. Young kids that are, uh, that, that are drugs and all social development, all of us, uh, education and all, unemployment is quite a big thing uh, across the board and all that. But when it comes to the Operation Shanela, from the side of the police, we'll have to do our own bit of it. Since, as you're asking, has it done anything? Indeed, since the launch on the 8th of May, in South Africa, we have arrested highly wanted criminals and those that we find them doing the, the crime. In three months, 109,000 South Africans. It's a bad thing to say, but we have here 10,000 here in Eastern Cape alone. But what is very clear in these areas, the police or law enforcement alone can win the war. Uh, the question of drugs, the question of high level of not attending school. You see young people, uh, 15, 16, 18, saying they are done with school and all that. That fits to gangsterism and criminality. There's one area where the government as a whole must really dissent. Uh, in different areas, your education, your social development, your human settlement. There are quite many houses that have been pointed at here without electricity. Some of them are without doors and without parents and all that kind of stuff. It's an area that needs far more than just the law enforcement to make life better for the people to deal with the criminality.